Hello and welcome. It's Saturday Night Football. Dennis Cometti here. Tonight we're coming to you from GMHBA Stadium. It's a fine night here in Geelong. All in all, a good turnout for this particular match. With 800 goals and 282 games to his credit, I'm joined now by Matthew Richardson. Yes, thanks, Dan. An absolute pleasure to be here tonight for the big game. Tonight's clash between the Cats and Sydney. The Cats running off. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. We have the toss of the coin. Geelong kicking to the right of screen. Coming off a string of wins. The players are all eagerly awaiting the siren. The first quarter officially started. There's nothing that ignites the passion of a footy lover more than the opening bounce. Both teams will be eager to dominate the centre clearances early. Selwood feeds it wide. It's Edward Scissorhands. Tapped by McVeigh. Tap by Lloyd. Hanabry gets the tap. Good tap from Kennedy. Smith comes in like a wrecking ball. Now oh, that's just giving the ball away. That kick has covered a very long distance. Marked by Smith. Gets the kick out of the defensive 50. He spears the ball. Cramery enjoying a height advantage. Cramery can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Parker picks it up. He grabs it off the ground. Ball up in the centre square. Naismith aims for his man on the ground. Off the ground. Dangerfield boots it. Nice mark under pressure. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's OK to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. All eyes are watching. A monster of a kick gets home. Chalk it up six points. He sinks his first goal. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Menzel knows that was something special. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The ball bouncing well. Punched by Naismith. Hanabry kicking the ball free of the pack. Nice hands. Lucky bounce collected. Kicks. Henderson collects it. Henderson guides it. Kept alive under pressure. Kept alive under pressure. Doesn't quite manage to pull it off. Great try. The throw is accurate. Smith with a big fist on it. Selwood may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. It gets tapped. Puts boot to ball. Meningola really forced to earn that mark. He boots it. Parker drops it. Ablett takes advantage. He slams that on the boot. He takes a strong mark. It's boot to leather. Great mark under pressure. Parker has the passion for this game, and that shines through every time he plays. Kennedy slams the ball to his boot. Cunningham with the ball. He kicks the ball. Stewart with a strong mark. He puts power behind that kick. Dangerfield with the mark. Works it across the ground. Good mark on the run. Adler picks it. Jones has it. He's a long kick. 
He wins the contest. Hewitt drives it inside the 50. And the ball goes out of bounds. Looks like we'll have a throw in. The umpires with a good throw. Tapped by Smith. Stewart with the football. Takes possession. Tapped by Ablett. Gets boot to high. Minangola looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Nice mark under pressure. Menzel, he's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable, and he requires a watchful eye at times. Taylor goes for home. Taylor, wonderful goal. He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. He loves it. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. And there's the bounce. Smith knocks it down the field. The umpire wants to ball it up. Knocks it down in front. Patley collects it. Dangerfield with a short hand pass. Jams it on the boot now. Nice contested mark by Gregson. Lining up the goal now. McVeigh decisively. Lloyd aims for his man on the ground. Rampied with the mighty fist. Lloyd taps it. Controlled by Ablett. Short handball from Smith. Dangerfield going for number one. Fantastic goal by Dangerfield. Gets his first. The Cats can calm down now and focus on increasing this three-goal lead. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Celebration time after that one for Dangerfield. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Nate Smith, he's good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. He takes possession. Papley gets the footy. Hewitt gets a fist to it. Henderson scoops up the ball. It gets tapped. Sinclair heads in for the goals. Magnificent goal. Sydney with their first goal. I gotta say, that's even a better goal the second time around. Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Blickhands really gets onto this one. Bounces favorably for Ablett. Umpire calls for the ball. Naismith hits it. Dangerfield taps. Good tap from Canterbury. Mills with the pickup. Kennedy on the ball at the moment. Clean tap by Kennedy. It's with him now. Heaney. Heaney. That's two in a row for the Swans. Two goals would change the lead in favor of Sydney. Heaney. He's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first right. Heaney shows the goal umpire the right signal. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Nate Smith is really good at getting up in the ruck, but his directional taps need some more work. Thurlow takes possession, receives the hand pass. Taylor takes a shot. Taylor, you beauty. The Cats are over at Sydney. There's one for the time capsule.
He acknowledges the crowd. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Here's the bounce. Big leap. Dangerfield there to mop it up. He picks up the loose ball. Parkick with the tap. He's heading for home. Sends the ball into the 50. Good mark by Sinclair. He takes the shot. And he's cutting them to ribbons. Two goals will sink the Swans in the lead. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. Sinclair knows that was something special. The Rucks prepare to go at it to this bounce. The ball has been bounced. Tap by Blickhouse. Bounces favorably for Menzel. Ball up in the center square. Naismith with the tap. Let's see with the stats how both teams performed. The stats show that both teams are practically kick for kick with neither willing to let the other have a kicking advantage. The Swans can the Cats are very level on the possession count which reflects the evenness of this contest. Much appreciated Richo. Here we go again, quarter number two. If you aren't going all the way, why go at all? Naismith really gets onto this one. Lucky bounce collected. Dangerfield with a daisy cutter. Ablett delusions of grandeur. He gains possession. Hannabury feeds it wide. Great mark. Kicked by Cunningham. A great effort. Selwood with the kick. Two eight marks. Slams it on the boot. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Smith is a smart guy, but he's got to keep it cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Ablett puts his boot on it. He gets it under pressure. He slams that on the boot. Hanabry takes the mark. He boots it. Dangerfield marks it. Trips it down towards half forward. And good mark under the circumstances. Cramery with a perfect drop punt. Taken by McCarthy. 45 metres out. Boots it. The mark by Menzel. Kicks the skin off him. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Rampy wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. He takes a strong mark. Smith has a kick. Geelong by seven points. Smith assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Kicks. Marks. Kicks it. A mark by Naismith. Jams it on the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Jams it on the boot now. Out of bounds on the wing. Thrown in majestically. Smith taps. Selwood gets the ball. The ball was thrown. Free kick for Canterbury. Canterbury kicks. Tui wins the marking contest. Tui needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. He gets boot to the ball. He marks the ball. He gets boot to the ball. Kennedy with the ball. Dishes it off by hand. He kicks inside 50. Opportunity for Hewitt. 
A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. Slams it on the boot. Nice mark under pressure. Looks like he panicked there. No one troubling him there. Stewart needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. Selwood puts his boot on it. Ablett, just the better man in that contest. He boots it. Meningola takes the uncontested mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Kicks. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. 50 metres out. He's on a 30-degree angle. Menzel has the chance to add one more to his talent. Guided by McVeigh. Clean tap by Smith. Guided by Menzel. Lloyd with the tap. Jones with the tap. Mills with the tap. Clean tap by Canterbury. Guided down nicely by Ablett. Menzel aims for his man on the ground. He takes control of the loose ball, finding the running player. Picture perfect drop punt. And the ball goes over the boundary near the 50. A lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Smith can really set the tone of the game with his rough work. He just always gives his team first use of the ball. Pollard Jasny finds the pass. Rowan decisively. Nice drop punt. Strong mark. Jams it on the boot now. No, oh, that's just giving the ball away. Menzel can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Smith can really set the tone of the game with his rough work. He just always gives his team first use of the ball. McVeigh gets the tap. Tapped by Smith. And now we'll get a ball up. Pummel down. He's got it. He's drilled him with a huge bump. Shoots off the handball. He brings it out of the pack. Jones marks on the run. Jones doesn't have the strongest marking hands in the league, but he's certainly very, very handy on the league. Parker slams the ball to his boot. Hewitt gets a fist to it. Heaney picks up the loose ball. Tap. Heaney with the tap. Papley picks up the loose ball. Gets the ball. Henderson with the mighty fist. Thurlow decisively. Stewart decisively. Parker picks up the loose ball. Perhaps he was trying to audition for the ballet. Kicks hurriedly. Heaney with an easy mark. He kicks it. If that post was a couple of centimeters thinner, it would have been okay. Two goals will sink the Swans in the lead. Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. Richo, how well are these teams performing? The Cats with 44 kicks and the Swans with 37 kicks. Not much in it. The tackling has been really equal in this match so far. The Swan. The players have had a good break. They should be ready to bring this game home. They struggled throughout the first half, but there's still a half a game to go. Lloyd doesn't waste that opportunity. He receives the handball. Handball's out into space. Hewitt with the mighty fist. Papley taps it. Good tap from Stewart. He runs for home. He gets a kick out of the pack. He steadies now in front of goal. A chance to add one more to his tally. And the mark will be paid. Kicked in a flurry. A great effort. Kicks. Dangerfield takes it well. Dangerfield has a lot of passion for this game. You can see it every time he steps onto the field. He's an inspiration to all players around him. He lays off the pass. He slams that on the boot. Has the mark all to himself. He slams that on the boot. Clean pick up by Lloyd. Lloyd taps. Smith with the mighty fist. He collects the loose ball. Tui guides it. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Umpire not hesitating to call the ball up right there. Naismith taps it, gathered by Jones. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. Hands like dinner plates. 
Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Taylor, he's the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. Murdoch knocks it down. He takes the footy. Taylor heading for goal. Taylor shoots for goal. I gotta say that's even a better goal the second time around. Taylor loves that. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Good bounce. Effective hit out there with the ball now. Wins the hard ball. The Swans just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. Rampy misses the ball. Ablett gets the loose ball, he taps it, the ball is scooped up, he boots it. Murdoch goes for home. Murdoch, you beauty. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. Murdoch happy. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Smith has such great hands. He always gives his team first touch and he seems to always know who's in the best position to receive those clever touches. Puts boot to ball. Dangerfield with good strong hands. He gets boot to the ball. He drops the mark. The ball in the hands of Parker takes possession. Parker taps. Gains possession. Hand passed by Smith. A stab kick from Tablet. McVeigh laps up the misplaced footy. It's his. Passed by Lloyd. And it sends the ball on its way. The Swans just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. Papley goes for home. The loose ball picked up by Duncan. He gets the hand pass. Thurlow has had plenty of it, Richo. You're right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. He gets another possession. Henderson will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Good tap from Ablett. Parker controls it. The ball in the hands of Thurlow. He's got the footy in his hands. He takes control of the loose ball. He's running hot, Richard. You're right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. Tap by Ablett. Stanley taps. Tui gets it on the bounce. Taylor has the ball. Ablett grabs that one. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Scoops up the bouncing ball. McCarthy executes the goal well. He sinks his first goal. Geelong in front. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. McCarthy happy. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Smith knocks it down the field. Menzel gets it on the bounce. Now we've got a ball up. Smith with the tap. Selwood aims for his man on the ground. Mills gets the tap. Parker with the handball out of the pack. He boots it from the pack. A good mark under the circumstances. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. But the Swans' forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Sydney Trail. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him.
his teammates rush over. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce, tapped by Smith. Well, yes, he is a bully, but he's not a mean bully. He's more a teacher, the kind of guy who'd take your lunch money and invest it for you. A 45-degree angle shouldn't be too hard for Peavy. Gets the loose ball. Packley gets a free kick after throwing the ball. The ball is slammed towards goal by Papley. Through for a point. Alarm bells are sounding for Sydney. Henderson has so much potential, he could just be anything. Dangerfield with the spoil. The ball is tapped. He hits it. Papley gathers the ball. Duncan boots it. Ablett with a strong mark. He slams that on the boot. He grabs it. Chips it down towards half forward. And the ball goes over the boundary near the 50. The Ruckman jostle for position. Definitely palmed to advantage. Kennedy shoots off the handball. Approaching the goals now. Stewart aims for his man on the ground. Guided by Stanley. And he's heading for home. Papley appears to think if you turn the ball over, you'll find instructions on the other side. He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. Henderson kicks. Richo, how well are these teams performing? Both teams near equal in terms of kicking stats. Geelong with 65 and the Swans with 55. It doesn't get much closer than that. A tight contest out there and the possession count really reflects that with the percentage at 52% to 48. Thanks, Richo. Last quarter, here we go. The more difficult the victory, the greater the happiness in winning. The ball in the hands of Menzel hits the running man. Selwood starts in, his shadow beside him. Where else would it be? Well, depends on the side. He takes the ball over the line. The umpire's throw is a good one. Naismith gets the tap. He controls the bouncing ball. Guided down nicely by Minangola. Guided down nicely by Parker. He brings it out of the pack. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That is the peg. Naismith sends one up towards the wing. Selwood is a decent mark, although he really needs to work on his marking contests because he just isn't making an impression there. Minangola knocks it down. Taylor heading for goal. Taylor goes for home. Geelong bleed. Teammate scrambling to make a lead. Kick to himself. Kicks. Cramery had no chance at that one. A favorable bounce. Ablett will hear about that kick leg. Bad kick, resulting in a free to Sydney. Smith kicks the ball out of the 50. Kicks. His mistake costs him a possession. Grundy holds the ball, and that'll be a free kick for Menzel. Jams it on the boot. Strong mark by McCarthy. 40 metres out. The ball is stuck towards goal by McCarthy. Lloyd gets the tap. Menzel with the mighty fist. Rampy gets the tap. Picked up under pressure. Well, it'll be a ball up right near the boundary line. Naismith taps. Bounces favourably for Murdoch. Ball heads out of bounds. The ball has been thrown in. Tapped by Smith. Jones guides it. Parker guides it. He gains possession. Gets the ball free. Ablett going for number one. Ablett goes long and gets the goal. The Cats in front.
He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. He acknowledges the crowd. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. There's the bounce. Smith knocks it down the field. Shoots off the handball. Menzel runs in. Shot at goal by Menzel. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. Geelong lead the Swans 51 to 28. Smith assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. 30 meters from home. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Geelong had one to their team. That's two in a row for the Cats. Geelong in front. Taylor is good on both left and right. So kicking off either side is just not an issue for him. All is in readiness. Great bounce. Naismith. Leave the pinatas for the kids. The conduct of the Swans has been first class. Sydney could barely given away a cheap kick. However, the coach would probably like to see the players attack the contest more fiercely. Heaney takes the mark uncontested. She a long kick there. Good mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. What did they used to say at school? Butterfingers lets it drop. Short handball from Dangerfield. Yet another possession. Jams it on the boot now. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Smith feeds it wide. Minangola gets the upper hand. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. 30 metres from home. McCarthy going for number two. He'll be happy with that. He'll be happy with goal number two. Geelong could score the last three goals. That could be the final nail in the coffin. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. McCarthy chose the goal umpire the right signal. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Definitely palmed to advantage, scoops up the bouncing ball. The ball goes out of bounds. Throw in from the boundary line. The ball has been thrown in. Smith with a big fist on it. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. McVeigh with the mark. Sydney just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. It comes off hands. The ball is scooped up. It gets tapped. We get a ball up on the wing. Smith with the tap. Tapped by Lloyd. Clean tap by Smith. Deft touch from Menzel, guided by Menzel. Smith guides it. He's heading for home. Menzel with the shot. Menzel slots the goal. He's bagged a couple now. That's four in a row for the Cats. That could be the final nail in the coffin. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. He's excited about that one. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Geelong have just been really well organised and courageous in the centre, and that's why they've been winning the ball. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Stanley got the hit out. Picked by Lloyd. Thurlow with the mighty fist. Papley running in, about to kick. Haywood, the better man there. 40 metres out. Going for goal number one. It's gone through for a magnificent behind. The biggest danger here is that they'll run out of time to turn this around. Henderson waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. 30 metres out. Heaney must be aware of the pressure he's under. This needs to go through. They've got nothing to lose here apart from this match. The Cats just seem to hit every target with their disposal. They're just incredibly efficient in this match. Duncan puts his boot on it. 
A great mark under pressure. Heaney kicks it. Henderson drops the ball. It gets tapped. Touring kick out of the defensive 50. Off hands. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Collar Jasny taps it. Gets a handball away. Gives it to Dangerfield. Nice mark there. Booted by Jones, a mark by Sinclair. The Swans just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. Thurlow kicks it. He taps the ball. Lloyd tackles him to the ground. Murdoch has the football. Nice, accurate handballing. Taylor puts it through. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Like a banana through a letterbox. What a wonderful goal. Taylor loves that. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Hit by Sinclair. The Swans were punished. What were your thoughts on the match, Richo? Grass grows, birds fly, waves pound the sand, and Geelong beats teams up. At the end of the match, Geelong over Sydney, 75 to 30. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon.